Alright, we're checking out the only game where the best type of doctor is the one that manages to murder every single one of his patients. It's Master Doctor. I'm not gonna lie, it's my first day on the job as a doctor, and I'm already dealing with something from Starship Troopers. I love how you come to the doctor's office, like, it's still alive! <laughs> this guy's like, Doc, my leg hurts. Yeah, it's because you have a radioactive death roach chewing on your calf. What is this? I <laughs> It's just a can of death. This doesn't take any medical skill. I love how hardy this alien being is. It's like, ah, uh, uh. I'm not actually killing it. The only thing I'm doing is turning it into the Hulk. Hold on, is this like rain or is this spray paint? I love that just, this is just level one in the office. All right, let me go ahead and finish this up. I got $50 for that. Wait a second, like the doctor's not even doing anything. Who's the one, who am I that I'm completing this? I'm just like the secretary. He's like, ah, you don't need to pass medical school. I didn't. <laughs> All right, so there we go. <laughs> Drop that in there. So uh, is it me? Or is this bandage incredibly dirty? What is this, like a used bandage? The guy doesn't have insurance, so he gets secondhand bandages. All right, yeah, let's peel that off. There we go, this, uh, this will fix it right up. Congratulations, you're still gonna die. That'll be 150. What is this? Why is there like a baby ultrasound machine over here? All right, let's take a look at what's wrong, good sir. I love how I have one of Iron Man's failure of a robot just looming around this guy, annoying him. It's like the Boston Terrier of robots. It's like, I wanna play, I wanna play. This guy's like, Jesus, just tell me I have 10 seconds to live and get this over with. Actually, sir, your blood pressure is 115 over 70. That is fantastic. All right, so I assume that the damage is, what the hell? Hold on, they couldn't even draw the broken bone. It's just like an extra bone growing out of his tibia. Hey, real quick, how much money do you have on you? The guy's like, I have $35. Okay, that'll buy you about 10 wraps of scotch tape. <laughs> Here we go. Hell yeah, that's the sound. I love how the thing is still over here, just mocking this guy. It's like, does it hurt? He's like, yes, it hurts. There you go. You have a fresh tube of toothpaste sprayed around your leg. All right, sir, listen, before you go into the brain microwave, there's a few things that we have to take away from you. Your necklace, your headphones, most of your IQ points, belt, and this watch that looks like it came off one of the dead people in the movie Titanic. Also, real quick, is my leg broken or am I just standing strange? Also, why does it look like I have seasoning all over my jacket? It's like I dropped a bunch of parsley on myself. All right, yeah, go ahead and put your legs all the way up to your chest. You gotta pass the flexibility test before you go inside. Head back. You may now put your legs down. And now we're gonna bake you on 350 for 25 minutes. There we are. I love how the doctor is so happy. He's like, I did it! You can't actually see it because there's a dude in front of the poster, but this is actually the graph of the survivability of the patients ever since I got hired. It's like we were pretty high and then everything started to go wrong. Real quick, this guy has an ex-girlfriend tattoo. I love how far ahead this guy thought. Like he went to the tattoo artist and he's like, this is what I want. And the tattoo artist is like, well, what if you two break up? And he's like, well, I'll just put an ex-girlfriend tattoo on then. All right, there we go. Put a bunch of Windex on there. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not a doctor, but I don't think this is how tattoos are removed. Is this just like a Mr. Clean magic sponge? Oh, I, I, it's possible this is only just like, you know, the, the, the sterilization. Actually, I made your tattoo look a lot better. You can see this guy's already prepared for this to hurt. He's like, what are you doing? I'm about to laser your arm violently. I love that it's a sweet rave party laser. <laughs> Oh, hold on. I can actually get to see this guy's face if I raise it up here. Ready? Hold on. You're in the club. You're out of the club. You're in the club. I love that accidentally I just erased two small parts and now it's just ex-friend. Well, let me, let me see real quick if I can just oh, a little more over. Right. Oh, there. And on his other arm, he's going to have me. All right, let me get done hitting you with gamma radiation. I appreciate that you're already wearing the Hulk shorts over here. He's got his colors on, like legit, they're purple. And there we have it. Congratulations, you can now be single again. What is this? How come this lady has like 35 leads on her? All right, yeah, we need your heart rate. We need your shoulder rate. Can I strangle you with this? Hey. 
What does this taste like to you? She's like, disappointment. It's actually really bad when you go into the doctor's office and he wasn't even able to put up the clock correctly. It's not even like it's slightly tilted. It's just completely upside down. Anyway, let me finish hooking this lady up to the car battery over here. There we are. All right, we're, we're ready to light you up like a Christmas tree. Start running. <laughs> I didn't know that we're doing like some sort of EKG test. So how how fast do I have to tap? Hold on, I gotta know what happens if I use an auto clicker for this. All right. <laughs> Are you ready? This lady's like, you trying to give me a heart attack? Yes. Go! Run! Come on! <laughs> Push it! Why are you dancing? What is this scene with the doctor? Why does he look insane? I mean, I am insane, but I didn't, what is this? What did I get, cloned? It's just me and more me, just with less hair. All right, ma'am, listen, you have suffered a traumatic brain incident. In order to fix this, we have to fill you up with ketchup and mustard. Look, if it's good enough for a hot dog, it's good enough for you. All right, let's shine this in your eye there. I need you to open the eye so I can see if there's anything wrong with your pupils. All right, how about now? Stop blinking. Over here! Ah! Oh, hey, ho! I love that I can just make it look like she's like violently twitching! <laughs> Alright, so am I supposed to like go down here? Whoa. <laughs> or, oh, I get it! Okay, so she can look down. Alright. <laughs> it just looks like she's trying. <laughs> yeah, over this side, over this side. See, now I can make a stupid joke and she can react to it. So I can be like, hey, what'd you dress up for for Halloween? A traffic cone? And she's like, Ugh. All right, over here. I'm oh, sorry. I kind of ended up blinding randomly there to get to the other side. All right, now we're going to test your reflexes. What, it, what happens if I test it really bad? Like down here. Whack! <laughs> All I do is just cause her pain. Ugh. All right, how, how about halfway up? All right, how about three-fourths of the way up? She's like, will you stop already? I have to try all the colors of the rainbow. There, there's the perfect one. All right, let's go. Oh, I screwed that up. All right, let's do the, the other one over here. There we go. Uh, okay. What do, yeah, do this. Oh, I'm flicking the needle. Man, you are gonna hate me for this lady. Tap, yeet that off there. Okay, now we're gonna take the Needle that you would use on a bison. <laughs> Suck that out. Why is it purple? I love that I'm just squirting strawberry preserves all over the ground. I love how it doesn't even show where that, like what happened in the end there. It was just like, ah, she'll figure it out herself. Okay, so I <laughs> depress. Oh my God. Ma'am, I've got terrible news. You have Minecraft emeralds growing on your tonsils. <laughs> We're gonna have to remove them. Oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna have to mine them. <laughs> She's like, does that require surgery? Well, it depends. Do you consider me smashing the back of your throat with a pickaxe and surgery? All right, so get this all the way down. I don't know what this is. Am I supposed to find like the, the evil ore? There we go. Oh, we're just, we're just tactically nuking them. I just got it real quick. I just wanna la You can laser her uvula. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> I feel like I'm just speed bagging this thing. <laughs> The lady's like, are you having fun in there? Yes, yes, I am. Okay. To get the rest of the emeralds done here. And there you go. You're no longer an X-Man. You're welcome. Now you can sing in my office. Kick down the door. The doctor's here. I'm going to help you and you're going to like it. This lady's like, I'm feeling really hot, doctor. Yeah, it's because we just injected you with an IV bag filled with barbecue sauce. All right, let's see, uh, let's see what your temperature is here. Just... <laughs> I love that this game allows you to be stupid. Let me see what the temperature of your eye is. How about the nose? Can I get the nose? Oh, you can. All right, there you go. Wow. She's like, what's my temperature? Oh, it's 98 degrees. She's like, oh, that, that actually sounds pretty normal. Celsius. Yeah, congratulations. You're going to combust soon. Is, is she, is she cracking? <laughs> Is that vitamin bears? Why is she trying to dodge the vitamin bears? This is what it's like when you take two Flintstone vitamins. Yeah! All of oh my god. This is hideous. What am I looking at? Is this like a varicose vein or does this lady have a, a like a, a jellyfish tendril wrapped around her leg? Am I shaving this or? I love how you know, whatever, the, the graphics are 
here and stuff like that. But the shadow is just the most porous pixelated garbage. <laughs> all right, yeah, let's get all that taken care of. She's like, you're not very good at this. Well, I was a lawn care guy, not a barber. She's like, I thought you were a doctor. <laughs> no. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and take whatever this is. I kind of wish I knew more about medical instruments, but I also kind of don't. Yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and slurp up your veins here. There we are. Perfect. I actually have no idea what I'm doing, but it's causing me extreme mental anguish. You're healed. All right, sir, go ahead and sit down. We're going to lift up your shirt here. Now you may see there is a, a bunch of organs sitting on a chart. That's actually how many I have to collect from patients before the end of the month. Think of it like a quota, if you will. All righty, there we go. All right, first thing that we're gonna be ripping out of you is your heart. I love how it gives them a score. It's like it's rating a video game. All right, what do we got? Where are we? Nine to 10, eight to 10. We gotta get you eating some more Big Mac meals. All righty, let's check out the old lungs over here. There we go, nine out of 10. All right, so clearly snorting pixie sticks didn't cause you any harm. And 10 out of 10! I don't even know why you're here other than to give me a bunch of money. Oh. No. This guy's like, doctor, I can't hear in my right ear. Yeah, it's because you have an entire medieval colony in there. God, they're building the town hall right next to the wood shop. Wow. <laughs> oh, no. It's like I'm flushing a bunch of lucky charms out of his ear. Oh, my head stop. Alrighty, now just like I learned in medical school, we're gonna take our angle grinder over here, finish that up, and congratulations. You're still gonna die in 30 seconds, but at least you'll hear it coming. All right, let me just get you out of here. You're not injured enough for my liking. All right, now we can just use this car buffer over here, clean all these stains off. No, what? God, please, no, no, What no. is this? I know it's a toenail, but why is he growing like a blueberry bush underneath? It's like half of a palm tree. Also, my clippers over here are pink, I love it. Look at how spastic these clippers are. It's like There's a really good chance that I totally could have just nipped the top of his toe off. All right, now you take the gold plated toe flosser over here. There we are. I love how we're breaking off a coat of rust from his toenail. Am I gonna paint it now? <laughs> this is a pedicure. It's not even something that you would do in the ER. At this point, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I'll just take money from anyone. It doesn't even matter. This guy's like, there's something wrong with my arm, doc, it hurts. Yes, you have Canadian-itis. You're actually bleeding maple syrup. All right, let's go ahead and, I don't know, I guess ice this down because that's gonna work. Throw some pancake batter on there. Perfect. Now keep this wrapped up for about 30 minutes and then you can eat your own arm. This guy's like, thanks, doc. Well, cured and cannibalism both start with a C. So I think my diagnosis was fine. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Master Doctor. Till next time, stay foxy, much love.